In this video, we solve problem 11.2.090 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, 7th edition. We're asked to use vectors to find the point that lies two thirds of the way from P to Q. We are given this or these um, coordinates for P and these coordinates for Q. So I'm just going to draw a little cartoon to help us visualize what's going on. This is location x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 5. And this point q is at location uh, 7, 8, 4. And we want to go 2 thirds of the way from here to here. So the question is, if I split this into thirds, what point is that? Well, one way that we can find that point is First, um, we can find the vector from P to Q. And that can indicate the direction because we know that the vector from P to this point has the same direction as the vector from P to Q. So we'll start by doing that. Remember how we find component form for the vector PQ. We start with the coordinates of Q and then we subtract the coordinates of P. And so we get a vector with components 6, 6, and negative 1. Now, if we want to um, find the point that's 2 thirds of the way from P to Q, well, rather than looking at this vector, I'd like to look at this vector. This vector has exactly the same direction. It's just 2 thirds the length. So we will take this vector PQ and multiply by 2 thirds. And the way you do that is you just take each of the components and multiply by 2 thirds. And 2 thirds of 6 is 4. And so we're here. Now a lot of students make the mistake of just writing this down. Um, but that is, these are not the coordinates of that point x, y, z. This is a vector in component form. This is saying wherever you start, in order to get from your starting point to the end point of this vector, you need to go four units in the x direction, four units in the y direction, and negative two thirds of a unit in the z direction. So to find this x value, you have to start here at p equals, um, or at p, uh, which has coordinates uh, one, two, and five. And then you have to go four units in the x direction if you started at x equals 1 and you go 4 units in the x direction, you're going to end up at x equals 5. Um, if you go 4 units in the y direction from that location, if you start at y equals 2 and go 4 units in the y direction, you end up with, at y equals 6. And then here, um, we're starting at z equals 5. If we go negative 2 thirds of a unit um, in the z direction, the corresponding z value is 5 minus 2 thirds. So that's 15 thirds minus 2 thirds, which is 13 thirds. Um, so that is our final location. And that's the answer that they're looking for over here. Now they already have a parentheses set up for us. So all you have to type in is the 5, 6 and the 13 over 3.